He says day one was a good day, and if he remains in the position for only a short time, it will be well worth the benefits that his plans will provide for the country. I believe uh, that uh, even if they have to be interim uh, administration, I think it's important for uh, Turks and Caicos Islanders, uh, members from the House of Assembly, to be a part of the ones to uh, fill that gap. I think I think it, it should be where a specific period of time that we work together to put in uh, the, the laws or the legislation that is needed so that we can have election as quick as possible, so that people's voice uh, can be heard, so that people can elect a government who they can hold accountable and responsible. Honorable Williams thanked the outgoing Premier, Honorable Michael Mizek, for his contribution to the country. However, he noted that there were mistakes made during the former Premier's administration, mistakes that Honorable Williams took the task of apologizing for. And I, as the new Premier and leader of my party, I do apologize for those mistakes. So uh, some, of the, uh, some of the negative things that the public is saying about us, uh, we may deserve it. But uh, again, and we can only ask for forgiveness for it. But I am committed to working closely with the public and my party uh, so that we can uh, be able to overcome those shortfalls that we may have. Later in his first official address to the nation as Premier, Honorable Williams expressed his opposition for the proposal of an interim government. It is my view that this is not the right move for the Turks and Caicos at this time. Therefore, I urge all citizens and residents to unite and join in the fight for justice and fairness. He says he believes that some of the recommendations from the Preliminary Commission of Inquiry report are issues that he is ready and able to address as Premier. There are some of the recommendations made in the interim report retaining to systemic weakness and administration of government. These are the very same system I have offered to work with HMG. To correct. There is no doubt a dire need to conduct a review of the human resources in the public service to ensure administrative competence in all areas of governing. I will seek the assistance of HMG to work along with me and my cabinet to ensure that a complete review of a civil service is carried out and its recommendation implemented. Other plans on the top of the Premier's agenda include providing checks and balances through the implementation of the Integrity Commission Ordinance, campaign finance reform, and the reconvening of the House of Assembly. He says he has chosen his cabinet and will take on the portfolio as Minister responsible for Development and District Administration. As for the other members of cabinet, he says those names will be announced tomorrow. For WIV4 News, I'm Joy Del Trail.